All right, we on? Is we here? Is we off anything? You feel me? Again, we here. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every one of y'all is having a blessed day today, man. Hope y'all having a good one. It's been a long week for you, boy. Still a long week. Long week at work. I know I ain't dropped no vids. Hey, Rich, what's up, Shawty? You ain't gonna drop no vid. What's going on with you? What are your thoughts on this Nike situation? That's all I keep hearing. That's all I keep hearing. That's all I keep hearing. Rich, what are your thoughts on the, the, the Nike vice president, the VP of Nike, stepping down because her son is reselling shoes. He has a sneaker shop, and he used her credit card with her name on it, and they found out about it, and it's hit the fan, and what's your thoughts? And the reason, it's only a, it's a small reason. No, it's a couple of reasons why I ain't talked about it yet. Number one, everybody talking about it. A lot of times when everybody talk about something, I know you got to jump on it. But I found out about it like what? Was it Monday? It was earlier this week when I found out about it. Some of people was hitting me in my DMs and stuff. And I was like, well, if I don't jump on it right now, I was having, a, like I said, I was having a long week this week. And I didn't have time to jump on it right away. So when I didn't jump on it right away and the week went by, I was like, should I still even talk about it? This video was actually going to be uh, some dope sneakers in this video. So if you want to skip to that part, real quick, I'm going to address my thoughts on the whole Nike VP stepping down because her son is reselling shoes. I mean, I don't even know if that's the reason why she stepped out. I mean, the Bloomberg article came out and all that stuff. I don't even know if that's... Look! My feelings about it is... You might not like my feelings about it because you're like, Rich, you chick, you catch L's like the rest of us. And a lot of people hit me up like, man, see, this the reason we catch it. Look, it might be, but it might not be. It might not be the reason we catch an L's because this dude got... A warehouse full of sneakers, possibly from Nike. Well, apparently from Nike, but I don't know if he, I mean, he bought them. So he bought them at whatever price he bought them for. And he sold them at whatever price he sold them for. I mean, I think it's facts. I think it's, I think it's facts supporting the fact that he actually paid for the sneakers, but he resell them. I mean, corruption is corruption. If it's some kind of way he getting this loophole through his mom to get the actual shoes straight from Nike and stuff like that. That's one thing. If he's actually buying the shoes and selling them through his connections, that's just like any other reseller. He just got a little bit better plug and connections than we do. But honestly, to me, like, I used to care about resellers. I used to care about, you know what I'm saying, like, hey, man, y'all killing it for us. But now it's just been going on so long. It's just, hey, man. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. Like, I know I supposed to, I know we got this outrage culture right now. That I'm supposed to be so outraged that this dude got warehouses full of sneakers and stuff like that in boxes and stacks on stacks on top of sneakers that I only wanted one pair of, but he got a million pair. He got thousands, hundreds, whatever how many he got, and he making money. But it's like, it's his hustle. Like, I mean, people get shoes, people get clothes, people get... It's actually real life stuff to be actually outraged about that's going on in real life that's not concerning feet wear made of suede, leather, rubber, and, you know, air units and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to be crazy, like, overly outraged. I know I, I put a lot of passion into sneakers. Y'all see it on my videos. So you expect me to be like, oh, my God, he got these shoes. Why is this happening? This is the reason I can't catch a dub on Nike sneakers app. Oh, my God, it's all about him. I hate him. Why is he doing this? But I'm not going to have that response. I don't have that response. I don't feel that way. I feel like, hey. Because there's a lot of stuff that go on that's beyond me, bro, that I can't control. And not just sneakers, just life in general. It's a lot of stuff that happens in life in general that I can't control. And I'm not trying to get too deep. Philosophical. Is that a word? Did I say that right? <laughs> I'm not trying to get too deep, man. I'm not trying to get, you know, make that make this after school special, man. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't that serious. And like I said, it's in this situation right here, to me, it ain't that serious. People want her to go to jail. People want her. People want her to be punished. She, how dare she be the mom of a kid with a resale shop in um, West Coast Streetwear, whatever the name of it. And um, how dare she be the mom of him and you know use her influence to plug him in? 
I'd be mad if I was a reseller my mom and plug me in. But you gotta think about it. You gotta just think about it. Like if Nike went investigating it, didn't I mean, she's a VP of Nike. Her son has a resale sneaker place. If they went just those two things right there being facts. If they went investigating it then, then hey man, what are we gonna do about it, Shout? Let's 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 just let's just let me answer this question. Are y'all gonna stop buying Jordans? Are you gonna stop buying Nike? Because if you ain't gonna do it, then I mean it's it's not gonna be a difference. It's not it's not gonna mean anything to Nike, honestly, to Jordan brand. It's not gonna mean anything to them. If you don't unless you stop, unless us as a collective million, millions and millions of people spending millions and millions of collective dollars, unless we just stop and say, you know what, I ain't gonna buy this out no more. It's a wrap. We gotta show them power in the dollar. Unless we do that, it's not gonna stop. And we're not gonna do that. And it's not gonna stop. Show of hands of people who are gonna stop buying Nike. Especially if you're watching a sneaker video. Who's gonna stop buying it? <coughs> it's actually a part of my YouTube channel, so I know I ain't gonna stop buying Jordans. I ain't gonna stop buying Nike when I can get them, but <clears throat> I think people has let the salt over the kitchen ills make them real emotional about this whole situation, man. At the end of the day, who you blaming? Are you mad at the mom? I know a lot of people might be mad at the kid, but I'm not mad at the kid at all. Like, do your thing. Get your money. Like, if I was a kid and the hustle like that came up and I was able to make a lot of money off of it, I probably would do it too, especially when I was 18, 19 years old. Because I was all about them chips, them dollars. I don't care about nobody not hitting on no sneakers out. That would not be at the top of my list of priorities. Oh my God, me getting all of these pairs stopped this guy who grew up in the 80s, who's in love with Michael Jordan, nostalgia and history. I stopped him from getting his pair. If I'm a kid, that ain't, I don't care about it. No, no 40 year old dude not getting a pair of sneakers on sneakers out. That's me. I mean, I do care because I am that 30 something year old dude that's not getting my pair of sneakers out. But if I was that kid, I wouldn't care. And this VP of Nike, this woman, have you seen the pictures of her? Would she, does she look like she would care about us not getting our shoes? <laughs> uh, her, her, um, from what I heard, she does her job well. You know, she's a good rep for Nike. She, you know, um, make sure they make millions of dollars. So, I mean, that's is the bottom line. At, 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 the, at the end of the day, these, these corporations don't care about us like like that. To that extent, personally, they don't. They just care about what we can do and the fact that we're consumers and we buy these sneakers. That's the only thing they care about. So, you know, like I said, that wasn't really a rant. That was just like <sighs> shrugs. Like MJ in 1992 shooting the three-pointers over, over, over the Portland, Portland Trail Blazers. This is, you know, it is what it is. It's one of those situations. It's really one of those situations where it is what it is. What it is. And I'm, I was, it, it boggled my mind that so many people want, they hit me up in my DMs and stuff like that and want to know my opinion on it so much because I don't know what y'all expect me to say. Y'all expect me to be outraged? I'm not. It is what it is. It is. Hey. It is what it is, shouty. Anyway, man, let's go ahead and get into these shoes. I don't wanna talk about it no more. I know people like Rich didn't even go in depth like I wanted him to, and I'm not, shout. It's just, it is like it's not like I don't care. I just, I don't, I don't, I, I can't, I can't get at my energy. It's too much other real life stuff other than worry about, you know. And I know I say I, I get salty about catching L's, but I catch L's on a lot more things than just shoes. That's more important. So I don't know. It is what it is, man. So anyway. Life is about disappointments. Learn it, take it in, and let it make you become a better person. You feel me? Uh, so first of all, before I show the shoes, shout out to the bags. Shout out to the bags. So premise. Look at that big ass box. We don't just secure the bag, we secure the shoes, man. The sneakers, you feel me? This is a big package from Soul Premise. Where's my knife? What they got for the kid today? Soul Premise, if you wanna cop anything on Soul Premise, use the link below in the description and use my code, Mike Rich. I think my Soul Premise discount is what, 30% off? 30% off your entire order. Shout out to my guy, Tony Anthony, for sending me this so the black. He know I like the black. <laughs> hey, I gotta get it out. 
So, this is basically, this is, this is what it boils down to right here, people. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what it boils down to. That pure calf skin leather ripped straight off the cow's ass. Making that cow shake. Don't hurt that cow. Man, look at it back. But you know what though? This is the, I mean, basically this is the same, same sneaker bag. Holds up to five pair of your favorite fire sneakers. One, two, three, four, and then five right here at the bottom. But this one, but wait, we got them wheels on that thing. Hot wheels in motion. Uh, yeah. Look at that, old boy. Woo fire. My wife was saying it to me, so I love their bag so much. When they get wheels, I'm just, I, I have to have it when they get the wheels. Got the wheels on that thing. So premise bag with the wheels going on. And you can still actually, look like it got straps. And you can pull the straps out and there's still a backpack on their ass. Hey, you tone back. The buckles with the straps right here, hook it all right there and you still good, put it on your back. When you don't want to roll that guy, you can roll that guy. Or you can put that guy on your back and be riding with it like that. You feel me? Like I said, click the link below in the description. Soul Premise. Use my code Mike Rich. You're going to get 30% off your entire order, man. With Soul Premise. Do it. Do it. Do it. So anyway, man, I know I started the video pretty long. If y'all skip through, it's understandable because I had to get a couple of things out way first. Spell that Soul Prim bag, Soul Fire. Appreciate Soul Prim for sending me that once again. Some traveling is coming up and that bag is definitely, most definitely coming with me because I'm gonna rock some heat to wherever I go. Fire! You know what I'm saying? Hope this hope this bag is fireproof, man. You feel me? So uh, real quick, my wife, my wife's birthday just passed and um, I was able to get her a, one of the pair of grills that she always wanted. And honestly, Ever since the shoe release, she wanted it anyway. And honestly, I wanted a pair too. But the, in my size, they were just way, way too damn high. But I ain't gonna show that shoe first. First, I'm gonna show the shoe that her aunt bought her, bro. And I, I wasn't gonna show this shoe either. But I was surprised when I saw it. I was like, these are fire, son. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? They got a Nike box right here in Splat Cat Cow. Woo -hoo -hoo. Hey, these are hard, bro. Air Max 95, I don't know the exact name of these, man. It just says Air Max 95, and it got the colorway on there, but it's like a basically black and red with a charcoal gray colorway, and it actually has Air Max written right here in the back. A uh, red outline swoosh. These are hard, bro. I actually wouldn't mind, wouldn't mind having a pair of these myself. Everybody, when it comes to Air Max 95, people go crazy over the uh, OG colorways, but when they bring these colorways, these little fire little colorways, especially when you're talking about black and red, charcoal, gray combinations, man. And you got that gradient with the different grays. It's just hard, man. I, man, I love that shoe. I wouldn't mind having a pair of these myself. Dope, dope, dope. Fire shoe Air Max 95, guys. Shout out to the wife. I'm sure she will rock these well, you feel me? But, man, these right here. So my wife been asking me for this shoe ever since 2018 when this shoe first released. And I didn't try as hard as I probably should have to get, get her a pair of these. But I said, you know what, I'm gonna make up for it. Her birthday came up. I said, you know what, I gotta cop these. I wish y'all could have saw the reaction. She was almost in tears when she got this pair because she just really wanted this pair real bad. And like I said, I gotta get me a pair of these at some point too. Reselling, I'm gonna do them probably go up, up, up. And uh, see what we got here. See over time that that um the material that these made out of kind of go off on the paper a little bit. But uh <laughs> these are hard. And she tried them on. She tried not to try them on, but she tried them on. <laughs> you seen it, you seen it. <laughs> Bow! Hit the microphone. The Air, the Atmos Air Max One Animal Pack. Guys! These are, bruh, come on, shout Come on with it, bruh. Air, Air Max One DLX, Wheat, Sport Red, and Bison. Bison, that's buffalo, ain't it? That's cow fur. That's, that's bison hide. Look at the red swoosh in the suede. When these shoes first came out, I'll never forget my guy, uh, Generation Hype Beast, 
was gonna try for a pair. And I, we was at a Hawks game or something like that. And he was like, you want them? I got them for you. And then something came up with my size wasn't available and I was just like, dang. And I remember my wife said, why you ain't trying to get my size? And I was like, it's too late now. And ever since then, she been begging me. Like she was almost in tears when she unboxed this shoe. I wish I would have recorded her reaction, but I just wanted to kind of chill and just, you know, live that moment without, you know, the camera being in her face, man. But it's a dope shoe, man. I mean, it's, it's one of those shoes. It's one of those pieces that you gonna put on your feet and people gonna be looking, man. Like I said, <laughs> she had to try. She tried this one on, she had to do it. She said, I, she said, I'm gonna try not to put them on, but my wife, every shoe she get, it gotta go on her feet. She gotta see what they fit like, what they feel like. The fact that they came with the red, the white, and the green laces. Which one would you sauce these with? I'm thinking the white. Or, or the red, or even the green, man. Any one of these laces, you can switch these guys up. My wife is like the biggest fan of leopard print ever. And when I got it, man, I just, she wanted this shoe so bad, man. I just like, you know what, her birthday, I spent, I got these off GOAT and I paid like 480, 490, something like that. Almost $500 for these right here, but it was worth it just to see her face when she opened that box, man. These are fire in my humble opinion. Y'all comment below if it's any shoes that came out years ago that you wanna just go back and get your hands on, man. Cause this is one of them for me. Actually, I was gonna try for the Air Max 95 Animal Atmos, but they was more limited than these and the price is just ridiculous. Hard to find, real high price. But anyway, for an occasion, like a birthday, had to go ahead and cop the Air Max 95, I mean, <laughs> the Air Max 1 Atmos Animal Pack Guys, man, you feel me? Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think of these, man. What y'all think about the shoe? I like the fact that the airboat, I never really reviewed these on my channel, but I just want to say real quick, I like the fact that they got the green air bubble. It's just the, the, the gum bottoms, the green air bubble. Like, it's just the subtlety, some zebra, some tiger, some leopard, some uh, wolf, bear, or uh, 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 gorilla wolf. Anyway, <laughs> all kind of animals on these things. Anyway, man, these are straight off goat, fire, fire, Flames, you hear me? Anyway, comment below and tell me what y'all think of these. Uh, was it a dope birthday gift for the wife? Hey, I'm kind of glad that she get into these sneakers like this because it makes it easier for me to pick out gifts. Buying sneakers is my speciality. You hear me? Get Copper Grail, that's the easiest shopping for me in the world. Don't tell her. But it's easy now that she in the shoes. <laughs> You falling right into my plan, Kiki. <laughs> anyway, man. As y'all can tell, I'm a little tired from work, man. I appreciate y'all for watching, man. Appreciate y'all for joining me for this video. I know it's a little long in the tooth, but I'm glad y'all stayed with it. Everybody who's still here, blessings upon you. Y'all hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them. And keep watching my video, because that's what I'm here for. Go Mike, Rich, no hype, just kick. Jordan, six. Woo!